This is Adita Burgos, the unfortunate protagonist of the Filipino docufilm titled Alipato and Muog, or Flying Embers and a Fortress. The film seeks to uncover the hard truths surrounding the enforced disappearance of her son and activist, Jonas Burgos, and almost 2,000 other such victims in the Philippines. The docufilm tells the story of Jonas, who was allegedly abducted by the military while having lunch in a crowded restaurant in Evergotesco Mall in the capital Manila on April 28, 2007. As the years passed with no news of her son, Edita believes there is still hope. After 17 years, it's easier to think na wala na siya. Kasi hindi na siya naghihirap, di ba? Pero siyempre, lagi may pag-asa pa rin ang puso ng nanay, di ba? Malay mo, baka tinatago lang nila. Malay mo, baka one of these days, kumatok na lang. Baka tanong, Mami, anong ulam? Jonas worked among farmers, giving them tips on organic farming and advocating for their rights. The family patriarch, the late Jose Burgos, was a crusader for press freedom during the martial law years. The military accused Jonas of being a high-ranking communist rebel leader, but have always denied involvement in his disappearance. Edita feels she needs closure on the status of her son. Mas maganda pa yung nakita mong wala na eh. Alam mo na yun ang nangyari sa kanya, may period sa ano mo. May katapusan. May katapusan at saka, alam mo kung anong pagdadasal mo, may his soul rest in peace. Ito ni hindi mo nga masabi, Lord, may his soul rest in peace dahil hindi mo alam eh. Rights Group Carapatan has recorded 1,912 desaparecidos, the Spanish term for the disappeared, in the Philippines since martial law was imposed by Ferdinand Marcos Sr., father of current president Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Cristina Palabay, Secretary General of Carapatan, alleged at least 12 people have been abducted by the current regime, which targets environmental activists and indigenous people. J.L. Burgos is Jonas's brother and director of the film. That's the, ano, that's the problem with uh, enforced disappearances. Hindi mo alam kung buhay, patay. Uh, you can just, pwede mong sabihin, uh, logically, hindi na siya buhay. Pero, we cannot prove that, no? So, ayun yung problem talaga sa ganyan. The film narrates Edita's ordeal and includes testimonials by a lawyer, a reporter, a former justice secretary, the Human Rights Commission chairman, and witnesses who speak on condition of anonymity. Ang paghahanap kay uh, Jonas ay paghahanap ng mga desaparecido. Ang paghahanap sa mga desaparecido ay paghahanap ng katarungan at katotohanan. So, regardless kung ano man ang ano, kung ano nangyari kay Jonas, tuloy, tuloy kami. The alleged perpetrators hold high-ranking positions in the government, and J.L. Burgos hopes the film would prompt someone to come forward with information about Jonas's whereabouts, even if it were just his remains. Kaya ako ginawa peliko, ang peliko lang ito ngayon kasi hindi na kailangan pang maghintay ang ganitong klaseng mga storya. Uh, kung hindi ako magkwento ay mawawala na ang mga storya ng mga nila Jonas ng iba pang nawawala para ma-maintain kung ang kanilang kwento, ang kanilang kagitingan, kailangan ko nang gawin ang pelikula ngayon. The then president's son and current president Marcos Jr. had a responsibility to find out what happened to her son and other victims of forced disappearances. She urged him to address human rights, as it was his father who set the tone that led to a culture of violence among the uniformed ranks. Support is slowly coming from people watching the movie, and this can trump up the pressure on the government to act. Magkakaroon ito ng sabandang huli, magkakaroon ito 
ng malawak na kaalaman para sa mga kababayan natin.